So now with the green scene set up, uh, you can have a, you can have an idea what the uh, what the effect is like. So we're looking now at a blank green screen. We're going to change that shortly to put different backgrounds on. But we're also going to have a go at changing the actual lighting as well. So we get different ambient uh, lighting effects in the foreground to try and match the background as well. So at the moment we've got two uh, main lights in front. It's by the way it's dusk now, so most of the natural daylight is gone. Two, na two um, uh, natural effect um, compact fluorescent lights in front give a natural sunlight effect. We're going to look at changing the um, tone on those now. You've got a, a hair light there which isn't on at the moment, that's a halogen one. And we've lit the back screen really with a load of um, uh, fluorescent lighting as well. So the, screen is, the back screen is lit and I'm lit and we can play around now with the camera angles etc. And you'll notice really the, the important part of the screen which needs to be green behind me is only the part of the screen that I actually move in. So at the moment it's okay. Um, we'll see as I um, walk around a little bit that becomes slightly more difficult and we're going to look at another technique for ensuring that the whole background appears uh, without any uh, problems throughout my moving around. Okay, so this is a typical gel. This is the Moonlight gel. It's a blue colour. And um, to attach them, you simply clip them over your light. So here, this soft box, for example. Now I'm using um, plastic clips on these. Cheap. Because this is a compact uh, halogen, sorry, compact um, fluorescent. And it doesn't get very hot. But, see there's sort of the blue effect. So that's okay with these ones. So plastic, uh, plastic clips, you can use them on the, on the, on the, on the compact fluorescence because they don't get so hot. But you can't really use them on tungsten um, or halogen type lights because they get much, much too hot and they might melt, especially on the halogen. So you need to use uh, plain wooden ones, to be honest, on those ones. Clothes bags. Uh, this is the golden amber one. This is um, equivalent of a deep orange. I don't know if you can see there and that gave us the sunset effect. Now these sheets are around about six, six pounds uh, a sheet, the special uh, photographic ones, and um, you can get sets of them, a set of 10, um, for probably about 30 pounds, something like that. If you look online, I can leave a, an address of a very good supplier there who supplies these. And um, you know, for about 30 pounds, you get a set of 10, that makes about three pounds each. And you can get corrective ones, so you get a mix in that set of corrective ones which would go colour to orange and colour to blue to correct the light source. And special effects ones as well, like the golden amber. There's various other ones as well. In a couple of other um, things, apart from colours, you get what are called um, neutral density ones. And these actually are designed to cut the light down coming out from your light source. Now another one, we don't really need to use it here. This is if you've got, because um, I've got, on this box I've already got a diffuser. But if you want to diffuse your light more, you maybe got lights you need to diffuse this is a diffusion sheet and this one is they're marked in the corners this one is a full diffusion on 
you can also uh, attach them to barn doors, the same principle. You simply clip them over the, the barn door there. That, that simple. And some barn doors come with um, filters to fit anyway, or gels to fit, such as these ones here. That's a kind of a red one. That's, a, that's the one I use for the, I think the hot sunlight one. That's a yellow one. It's diffuser and that's a blue one. So you get sort of a, normally some gels that go with that as well. And they gel sheets as well as these will all be um, fire resistant for obvious reasons because uh, they can get very hot with halogen lights. So but anyway, the use of gels is very useful. And you saw here with the green screen effect behind it can, I hopefully you can see, give a more convincing uh, look to your videos. Thanks very much for watching.